Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me today on the summit is the head women's basketball coach of the Mid America Christian Evangels, Hannah Moeller. Coach, you just won recently, within the last week or so, your 200th career game. And then on Thursday night, you picked up your 100th career win at Mid America Christian. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been a fun few weeks. In the midst of all the chaos and all the crazy, there's still been some good moments. Well, you came away on Thursday night with a victory over John Brown, 88-71. The team led throughout. And although John Brown did make a bit of a comeback in the fourth quarter, this was one of those games that uh, Mackey was just going to take home. Yeah, uh, you know, there was a steal that happened late in the first quarter um, by one of our forward that starts for us. And and it was pretty, I thought that was the defining moment. Like I could tell our kids were totally locked in. Um and it seemed kind of to put a dagger, at least in the first half, for John Brown. There are moments like that. And, and it's neat, though. And I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because it's neat to get to see them. And you kind of have this feeling, this is it. This is this is yeah. the turning point. We're going to be able to take it on in. Yeah. So that was definitely a lot more fun. In the past, we've had a couple where I've thought, okay, you're going to make this a dog fight. And it doesn't need to be a dog fight. So, um, but they, they played great Thursday. They really did. In America Christian, seven and one overall right now. I know a number of games have been either canceled or postponed, but still seven and one, four and zero oh in Sooner Athletic Conference play. Thanks, by the way, for watching the summit here on Mid Midwest Sports Net. And I do encourage you, please subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that very much. We're talking with Mid America Christian head coach Hannah Moeller right now. I'm trying to con try not to confuse the two. Anyway, coach, you got twenty point performances from Oceana. Ozani and from Pe Presley Payasape. I tried to get that right, Presley. If I messed it up, I apologize. 20-point performances, though, in the win on Thursday night. Talk about the play that you're getting from them. Um, you know, O has, we call her O, probably so <laughs> I wouldn't butcher her name all the time. Anyway. Um, uh, so O is in her fourth year, and we find out last week that she's going to go ahead and come back and and take her extra year next year but she has just been so consistent it has been so her freshman year she was healthy all year her sophomore year she kind of had a freak health issue didn't get to play till the second semester junior year had a meniscus surgery in the fall didn't get to play till the second semester and then this year she had a cl surgery in may and so we got her back basically christmas day um, but she's just a kid we've always been able to count on. And so seeing her play healthy and, and really just free, and she looks so mature out there. Um, I, I didn't quite know until we got into the locker room afterwards that she had had 20 and I think nine or something like that. And, mm. um, but that's kind of how it is. It just happens real quietly. Um, but she's playing great. And, you know, we had a kid tear their ACL, uh, early, early January, um, and so O has definitely stepped up in minutes and in contributions since then. So it's been great. Coach, you know, and I was talking about Presley as well, and six players on your team right now, according to statistics uh, throughout the season, averaging in double figures. I know those things come and go with, with, you know, kids being able to play and not being able to play and injuries and all that, but still six. That's, that's a nice number. It's led by Lexi Hernandez, and she's just continuing to play really well for you. Yeah, Lexi, uh, mid-November, we went on the road in Texas to Sagu, and she finished the night, I think, with 40, 39. Um, and she's going to never forgive me if I got that number wrong. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was, it, it was just clear from the very – early, early season that Lexi was going to lead for us this year in a lot of different ways. Um, and so for us, yes, she can shoot it and she can shoot it really deep. But the quiet pieces for Lexi are she always comes away with five or six rebounds. Um, you know, there's been one or two games where I think four or five of those have been offensive. And if you knew Lexi, you would know that she's about five, three. So um, she she's just such a hard worker. She has had multiple games this year. I think Think where she's had six or more seven or more steals um on the road last week at usao it's a tied ball game with about 50 seconds left their ball in front of their bench uh, and she she just stole the ball right away from them so we go down shoot two free throws go up two and uh 
she did the exact same thing a second time in a row. So she <laughs> finds ways to get her hands on things that I, I never know are coming, but she's just been tremendous. And then Presley, um, you know, she's a transformer for us. We <laughs> we recruited Presley pretty hard out of high school. And so we're, we're, we've always been familiar with who she is. Um, I would tell you in the last two and three weeks, we are seeing her play into that. Um, and I, I think Presley's a kid that's just getting started. Um, she's had 20, 20 or more in the last three games for us. Um, and she's, she's just pretty dynamic, which has given us a really a, an edge, um, whether it's her size or whatever, she continues to find ways to be a matchup problem for people. Uh, and then, you know, the whole joy, I get a lot from people, Hey, this may be the best group you've had, um, which I think, you know, it would be my luck that I would get the best group I've had <laughs> this year. But um, the deal is, is, you know, we can play 10 different kids at any point in time and not and not fall off at all. And, and we haven't had that. And so um, I'm never surprised when we have six or, you know, different kids who go off on a given night. Uh, I think I've had somewhere, you know, at least six of those kids. Uh, maybe five of them have all scored 20 or more on in different games this year. And so um, they're fun. That's the truth. Like they, this is the most enjoyable group that we've had. And so it's been a lot of fun. Coach, coach and we're speaking now with, with coach, coach Hannah, Hannah Muller from, from Mid-America, Mid-America Christian. And coach, I think you look and you talk about if this was your best team, just hypothetically, I mean, consider this. You have four national championships to your credit, two ACCA, two NCCAA, and I think, and and I, I won't leave it to you to say this, I think you guys were headed for another NCCAA national championship last year before the sports world abruptly came to a halt, and, and yeah. I'm still frustrated about that. But I think you could be legitimately looking at five, four Coach of the Year honors that, that you've received. And, and in getting 200 wins, it's taken just a little bit more than eight seasons. That's because you, you've, your teams – have won 20-plus games every single season that you've coached, not only at Mid-America Christian, but also at Randall, formerly Hillsdale, so that when you when you were there before. Um, if this were your best team, <laughs> that's pretty impressive, Coach, with what you've had. But, my goodness, what a career so far. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. I've, I've coached great players. That's not yeah. – and that's not Coach Talk. That's the truth. Um, you know, in the last four years here at Mid-America, we've had – one kid after another who has just done really incredible stuff. So I've got to coach great players. Okay, well then I, I will follow that up with this. If you've coached those great players, and, and many coaches have great players, not able to see always the same success that you've seen, then how do you get the most from those players? Go for the heart. Um, that's the truth. <laughs> you know, when I when I got at Mid-America about four, four or five years ago, um, we had a – a person that was in administration here. And um, when we were just talking through, you know, change culture, change things like that, and how do you get kids to buy in, um, that kind of became our slogan, go for their heart. And I, I really do believe when kids know that you're for them, um, they'll go a lot farther. And, and I'm sure if anyone on our team listens to this, they're going to go, did you know that last Wednesday, I did not think you were for me. <laughs> um, but um, that's always our goal. Um, so let them know we're in their corner. Uh, but go for their heart. Because I think when you get there, you get a whole lot more out of them than, than just wins and losses. That sounds fantastic. Sounds like the way to go. It sounds like something you would say, by the way, too. So I appreciate that. Well, listen, I, success to you then as you go along, and it doesn't slow down any from here. I don't think any coaches are looking up there and saying, well, she has, you know, 100 at Mackey now. We should just fold. You have a couple of big games coming up this week. You take on Southwestern Christian. And then the other team, you're one of two teams, by the way, that's undefeated in conference play in the Sooner Athletic Conference. The other team is Oklahoma City. No surprise there. And yeah. you all travel up to OCU on Saturday. So it's a big week ahead. Yeah, we're excited. Um, our first game with Southwestern this year got canceled because of COVID. Um, and so I think they're playing really, really well. Um, they have a young lady that is, I mean, she is a walking bucket at this point. And so <laughs> we're going to have to really guard on Thursday night. But um, And then, you know, I think for Saturday, I'm telling our kids, this is our, this is our year. So we're going to go, we're going to go at them. 
All right. All right. Well, hey, good luck to you in that. Should be a fun week ahead. Coach Hannah Moeller, again, 200 career victories now, 100 at Mid-America Christian University. Success to you all this season. Looking forward to continue following you along. And thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thanks, Joey.